Mina, has A.B. played his last game in the NFL? I'm never going to say never. Uh, I mean, if it wasn't over when he quit in Pittsburgh, when he quit in Las Vegas over the helmet stuff, when he was accused of sexual assault, sent threatening texts, when he pleaded guilty to felony burgl burglary, uh, when he got caught with the fake, fake Vax card, why would it be over now when he left in the middle of a football game? I'm not sure uh, why people feel comfortable calling it at this point in Antonio Brown's career when we have a mountain of evidence that the NFL does not care. This is like trying to catch a falling knife. And, I, and by the way, Ooh. People are going to be mad at me for listing all that stuff. I'm not listing it to make any argument other than the fact that this dude's career will not be over until he can't play football. That's when I'll say he's not going to get signed by an NFL yeah. team. When he is not playing at a high level, and he was playing at a high level before this, um, it's just reality, and what, it's what we've seen from how the NFL treats Antonio Brown. Yeah. Well, they're going to be mad, and they're going to be mad at me too because I think you forgot about when he threw furniture out the window. That was one of the things on the list. You left that one off. So if we're going to list those things, include that one too. Um, I do, however, think, and maybe it's wishful thinking, I do think that his career is over. And I think it's because of the how high profile this was. And I do think that when you have issues behind the scenes and like all the other issues off the field stuff, we've accepted that the NFL, and frankly, like it's not just the NFL, no businesses really have a moral core, nor should we expect them to. And that is not how they're going to be making their decisions. I don't expect that to be the case. That is our obligation as a public to demand that of them. If we do not demand that of businesses, NFL teams or anything else, they have no reason to, to um, follow whatever moral code we think they should. So I don't think that that is going to stop them. That's never stopped them. The stuff that happens behind closed doors, we learn this whenever we have major incidences. When there is video, it is entirely different. Oh. I think it makes things real that people don't, that people only imagine. The video of Antonio Brown, did I miss a video? Did there I miss a video? There was video of, of him tape, taping a phone call with his head coach, John yeah. Gruden. I just, uh, another thing we forgot, by the way. So there was video yeah. of that. Yeah. that Still not over. To go I, I'm just saying, it, yeah. it's not over. That's I, fair. <laughs> yeah. All right, well. And wasn't right. there video I, outside I, I of thought, his house I the one it time, was too? Over, but you're right. I, I'm, I'm wrong about this one, is we cannot, we cannot count this out. I think, I like to think that it's over, but I think you're right. We can't trust that. Um, G GMs haven't learned their lesson, and they aren't desperate enough to be as stupid as uh, teams have been up until now. Yeah, I I'm, I'm going to say it's over. I'm going to take this <laughs> out. Listen, I, I was delusional. As Dominique told me last week, I was delusional uh. to believe. I honestly believed that, that, that Antonio Brown was going to be the catalyst for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to continue on without Godwin after he tore his ACL and with the injury to Fournette and the soft tissue injury that he was obviously coming back and working through it. But I thought, man, it, the relationship between he and Brady, the relationship between he and Bruce Arians, and Arians bringing him back after the latest incident and saying, hey, it's for the betterment of the team and all those things, I believed. And so, uh, yeah, I looked foolish. I may look foolish again, but I would tell you this. If the guy who went and picked you up from the airport and let you stay in his house being Tom Brady when he brought A.B. in and Bruce Arians giving him as many opportunities as he has, and in the moment that he does it and the impact that it made for that team and the other 52 guys who are dressing and trying to make plays, if that doesn't tell every GM that when it matters most, it doesn't matter the most to him, that, that's where I think the football world steps in and goes, wait a minute, I, I can't tolerate that part because of fear of he does that in the middle of a playoff game, right? And does, you know, topless jumping jacks through the, through, through the, uh, you know, through the end zone once again right. and makes you look really bad as a journal manager or as a head coach. And so I think, I think it's from fear of embarrassment that that could happen to you after it's happened would probably be the reason I say he doesn't get another shot. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.